All right, you guys, today we're going to talk about the font variables and I'm going to show you how to use it in Illustrator. And I also going to show you the best variable fonts from adobefonts.com. So let's get into it. So variable fonts, as I understood, are pretty much the open type fonts, which means instead of using a couple of weight differences from tint to black, now you can customize the width or the thickness of the font and choose any custom thickness you like from a way larger scale. Now you might say there would be so many font variations and you would have too many fonts installed, but this new open type technology actually includes all these variables in one format, so it's even better. Now, of course, in order to access these settings, you're going to need variable fonts first. So for example, here we got the Deuterium variable font. This is a free Adobe font you can download and I can leave all the links in the description. And usually normal fonts, you can see there are a couple of weight differences and you call this a font family, which goes pretty much all the way from thin to ultra heavy. But if it's a variable font, you can go way more complex than that. You also got a button here. If you click it, you're going to find a handle here where you can pull it all the way from super thin to to extra heavy. And as you can see, the extra heavy is 900. If I want to go a little bit lower, I can do that. And maybe I want a little bit less heavier, which is 892. And I can get that. Now with a simple font family, you don't have that option, but with variable fonts, you can choose any number you want, any thickness you want. So you got full autonomy on the font. And check this out, that's not even all. For example, in this situation, you got the config variable. Let's go and click on the variable button and check this out. Here we got three handles. We got the width, the weight and the slant. So we're going to increase the width and then the weight. And how about least the slant, which is pretty interesting. Now, I'm also going to show you some variable fonts here on Adobe Fonts. For example, the Sherborn variable. And here on Adobe Fonts, you can test them out by pulling this handle down. And this is going to adjust the weight. And this handle, it is going to set the width of it. And here you also can see the optical size. This doesn't even adjust the width, but it adjusts the contrast of the serif. And then you got the Rotulo variable. And here you also can see three settings. You got the slant, you can slant it. You got the width all the way to wide to narrow, which looks so really good. And you also got the weight of the font. There you go. Next, I also included the deuterium variable that I showed you in Adobe Illustrator and then sway variable. It's another interesting funky font and then gist variable. You only got the weight and check this out. This is the fit variable. Now this can go all the way from super narrow, super tall, all the way to super extra extreme wide and thick. Now this is insane and pretty badass. Next is a config variable. I also showed you in Adobe Illustrator and not but least the, the Dagular variable. Now check this out. If you pull this circular handle, it is going to put it in italic, but it won't slant it. So you get like two options and you can see the letter A and the letter G are changing because when you read italics, some of the letters needs to be changed for a smoother reading experience. And then you have another handle. If you increase it, you're going to switch up the optical size. So it's going to adjust some of the letters. For example, the letter G, the letter D is going to make it more rounded, more wider. It's really interesting. And then you also got this handle, which basically adjusts the weight. So pretty much this is it. I think this is the future of the fonts where you don't need to be a typographer and you can fully set up your font and customize them however you like. I'm going to leave all the links in the description and pretty much this was it. Thanks for watching.